Well, hey, what are we doing today, folks? We're installing radon systems. That's what we do on this channel. Hi, my name is Scott. I'm a radon mitigator in Virginia. I make videos for other radon mitigators that is looking to get in the business. If you're a homeowner, of course you can stay and hang out. If you're looking for a radon mitigator, a good place to go is www.nrsb.org. It's right down here. It's the National Radon Safety Board. Just go to that site, plug in your zip code. That'll pull up a list of certified radon professionals in your area. So today, I'm making a short video about radon systems in concert with perimeter drain systems. So here we go. My uh, most watched video on YouTube happens to be concerning a sump pit. And so today for this job, uh, this is a real estate transaction. Uh, this house is on a perimeter drain system. So if you don't know much about those, um, the house had water issues when it rains. And so somebody came in and jackhammered up the entire perimeter of the home, put gravel, corrugated pipe, a sump pit with a pump, an ejection pump that drives it up and out of the home right there. So the radon fan that you saw outside is right on the other side of this pipe. We came in just slightly below grade, right in that mulch bed. And uh, the way we like to seal those is using uh, mortar. Lots of times we'll use, uh, you know, silicone and backer rod, but when you're below grade, I like to use mortar. It kind of makes me sleep a little better at night. So I've gone ahead and I've hooked up the dehumidifier to drain into our sump pit right there. If you do watch my videos, uh, when I discuss sump pits and radon systems, uh, there's three rules that I go by. And one is you can ignore them, two, you can cover them, or three, you can cover them and pull from them. So in this case, we're really, we're covering it and exclusively pulling from them. Uh, we're really putting all of our eggs in one basket, but I've had really good luck in drawing radon from these perimeter drain systems uh, because they're in place the, from what I've seen I'm just a dude that's been in a lot of homes uh, typically water gets into your basements because there's not a good gravel base underneath here I'm gonna go out on a limb and suppose that whoever built this house did not use gravel much at all and what they've got is just this big clay we got a lot of clay in our area so if there's a lot of clay underneath your floor, uh, water just has nowhere to go except to go to its lowest and weakest point and essentially come out of your walls. So that's why there's a lot of these systems involved in my area. Well, I know when they put these systems in, they use a good gravel base. So that's what's crucial to moving air is uh, gravel. If you have just dirt and clay and mud, it's hard to draw air through that, right? So this is how we're tapping into all that gravel to move so much air and therefore remove radon. So I hope that helps explain why I've committed to tapping into this um, salt pit that's tied to a perimeter drain system. What I'm using is, it's called a hyper drain system with a quarter inch uh, plexiglass that's transparent. This right here allows water to come in, but it prevents air from coming out. Okay, so this is the hyper drain, and what it does is it allows water to pass through to the sump pit, but prevents air from seeping out. And it looks to be like a ping pong ball, is my best guess, but it's pretty clever. So right here we've got holes perforated uh, to draw air from this perimeter drain system. Usually there's pipes sticking through. Uh, they didn't do this in this case. In this case, it's sort of weeping into the pit. So we're making our own airflow there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and seal this down, connect it to the plumb bob trick that I use to find center. It's just simply a piece of plywood uh, cut out to fit with some uh, Gorilla Tape for gription to stick up inside the fitting and helps me find center every time. Okay, and we're back. And so I've got it to where um, someday, you know, the, I don't know if you can see that, there you go. So that right there is the sump pump that when water rises in this pit, uh, it will activate the pump and eject it, and eject it out of this pipe. So someday the pump will fail 
and we want to make it to where a plumber can get in and replace it. So I've got this boot on where they can easily, you know, get the pipe off. And I've got this sealed down with caulk. Um, you know, you can break the seal of caulk pretty easily. We sealed the sides with silicone. You know, that, that's just tougher stuff that doesn't shrink uh, to prevent suction loss. With regards to this, this plexiglass, so I got this from Radon Away. And at this time, they only sell to certified radon mitigators. So I'll give you the link so you can at least check it out. Maybe, you know, if you're a homeowner trying to do it on your own, uh, maybe you can find something comparable out there in the marketplace. So when I receive these, you try to get them sized up, but I've put maybe four of these in and three out of those four, I had to fine tune with a jigsaw. So what you're looking at right now is just some Gorilla Tape that I've placed on the bottom of the jigsaw, which keeps from scratching up the plexiglass. A jigsaw is not really the type of tool that you're gonna always carry around in your van, but um, if you watch this channel, I talk about carrying odds and ends like jigsaws that can really make your day. And it really came in handy here as we had to uh, fine tune that to make that fit. And my little pack, you just use the original top. You know, lay that down, draw it out with a permanent marker, and then you can cut your, you know, jigsaw cut to make it, you know, fit exactly like it's supposed to be. These hyper drain kits or plexiglass covers come equipped with these access ports. So this pulls out, and you've got a nice, uh, you know, space to get in out, get in there with your hand and do at least some minor things. Well, we could be moving quite a bit of air right there. If we were to have a lot of resistance, this oil in the manometer would shoot way up. Hey, so I hope that helped. If it did, by all means, smash that like button and consider subscribing. I drop lots of content for the Radon community. Doesn't cost you a dime, means the world to me. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.